Welcome to Good Morning ACS for the week of the 12th of November. I'm Juliana, and you're watching this week's news and updates. As a part of Qatar Sustainability Week, Thursday was Green Day where everyone wore the color green. Personal Project Day happened on November 8th for the grade 10 students. Well done to them for their hard work. During the month of November until December 7th, advisory lessons are being devoted to digital citizenship across all divisions, where students assess topics such as online safety, tracking, and phishing scams. This week is Anti-Bullying Week. This year, we're calling it Ready to Do Right. The focus is on how easily banter can turn negative and lead to bullying situations and ends the week on what we can do. We will celebrate Anti-Bullying Week with a variety of events throughout the week. Lower School and EC will be having a Spirit Week for Anti-Bullying. Some events include coming to school in your pajamas for On Wellbeing Wednesday or dressing as a superhero for Supportive Sunday. Keep your eyes peeled for the poster. On Monday the 13th, tomorrow, will be Odd Socks Day. Don't forget to wear your odd socks. The message behind it is that although we don't always agree, we can always choose respect and unity. We will represent this by wearing different socks. Although our socks do not agree, our feet work together to keep moving forward for the positive. Heads up about an upcoming school photo shoot scheduled from November 19th to November 23rd. This will include both students and staff. Please be aware of the upcoming event. For lower school and middle high school students and staff, the photo shoot will take place in the theatre, the same location as last year. As for early childhood students and staff, the photo shoot will be in room F004. Have a great week. What are we sharing? It's important to know about your pers parents' personal versus private information. Talk about the difference between what's okay to share online, like your favorite color, and what's not, such as your home address. Use privacy settings together with your parents and go through the settings on all new apps to make sure you both know what information you're sharing, especially in the beginning. It's better to share very little. Avoid location tracking. Location-aware apps can be super helpful, but apps that use devices location to help people find you or offer them ads for nearby businesses should be used with caution. Turn them off if you can. Let's create an awareness of what we are sharing. How do we be kind online? Risk taking and standing up to bullying week 2023 is happening from Sunday 12th, Thursday 16th November and has the theme ready to do the right thing. It is coordinated by the Anti-Bullying Alliance, which is based at the National Children's Bureau. Too often, we are silent when we see bullying take place, silent about the hurt bullying causes, and silent when we hear bullying dismissed as a just banter. It doesn't have to be this way. Of course, we won't like everyone and we don't always agree, but we can choose respect and unity. This Anti-Bullying Week, let's come together to have discussions about what bullying means to us, how banter can turn into something more hurtful, and what we can do to stop bullying. Together, we can make a difference and take a stand against online bullying. On Tuesday, 14th of November, we will be hosting at ACS our first swim meet, ACS Against Evil. Good luck to all swimmers. Basketball and football tryouts took place on November 5th. Thank you to all students who showed an interest and came to the tryouts. We hope that our next sports season will be full of victories for our boys and girls basketball and football teams. If you need more information on basketball, please contact Coach Boyana for the girls team and Coach Wusa for the boys team. For more information on the football, please contact uh, Coach Mohammed for the girls team and Coach Elia for the boys team. Basketball and football trials took place on November 5th. Thank you to all students who showed interest and came to the tryouts. We hope that our next sports season will be full of victories for our boys and girls basketball and football teams. Hi, my name is Noma, and thanks for listening to Game of the Week. LEGO 2K Drive is a LEGO-based racing game developed by Concept and published by 2K. It was, it was released on May 19, 2023 for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Windows, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S, and is rated E for everyone. 
Today's fun facts are about five words that Arabic and Spanish have in common. The first word in Spanish is al muhadda and in Arabic it's al muhadda meaning pillow. By the way, I'm sorry if I say anything wrong in Spanish, I don't speak Spanish. Um, the second word is hirafa in Spanish, and in Arabic it's zirafa, meaning giraffe. And there's also a similar word for giraffe in French. The third word is mes mesquino in Spanish, and in Arabic it's mesquin. Um, in Spanish it means stingy or petty, and in Arabic it means poor or miserly which you might also hear your friends say it as in like poor thing, miskin. The fourth word is az azucar in Spanish and in Arabic it's azucar meaning sugar. The last word is azeituna in Spanish and in Arabic it's azeituna meaning olive. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you next week. Welcome to Jokes of the Week. Why did the melon jump into the lake? It wanted to be a watermelon. <laughs> Why would it not hurt if you threw a soda can at your friend? Because it's a soft drink. Do not try that at home. <laughs> Why do you spread peanut butter on the road? To go along with the traffic jam. <laughs> That's all I have for today, and I hope you have a great week. Thank you for joining us each week for your weekly news and updates. If you have an idea for a news story or updates to share, please email us at goodmorningecs at gmail.com. Have a great week.